Now the second one under the optical properties of collateral dispersion is <coughs> turbidity. Turbidity can be measured with the help of nephrometry and a turbidimetry. Turbidometry also we can call as a spectrophotometry as well by using spectrophotometer. <coughs> so what is the turbidity? Turbidity, what we can do in turbidometer is we can measure the transmitted light. We can measure the transmitted light. See, this is the transmitted light. The light which is at 180. This is the incident light. The light which is coming from the source. Incident light. The light which is present at 180 degree. At 180 degree to the incident light. This is the incident light. At 180 degree to the incident light is transmitted light. So, we transmitted light we can measure at 180 degree to the incident light. To the incident light, what? At 180 degree, transmitted light is there. We are going to measure this. We are going to measure this. How much transmitted light is passed? How much transmitted light is passed through the lyophilic or light? lyophobic particle and through the lyophilic particle in turbidometry. See how it is means. If you consider this is a lyophobic particle, lyophobic particle is due to the charge present, stabilization is due to the presence of charge. So this is a lyophobic particle. See these are the incident light. So the light which are present means once the particle observes the light means incident light then it will scatter the light in all the directions. That is, we can call as a scattered light. So, majorly we can observe the scattered light at 90 degree. At 90 degree we can, at 90 degree we can observe the scattered light. Means this light we can call as a scattered light, we can observe at 90 degree. And the transmitted light, the transmitted light by the particle, we can measure at 180 degree. So how much how much transmitted light is produced by this particle lyophobic particle means less C lyophobic particle exhibit having more trans scattered light compared to the transmitted light. But you can see in the in case of that is lyophobic particle, but in case of lyophilic particles, what will happen means <coughs> this is a lyophilic particle. Lyophilic particle is surrounded by the solvent film. So the majority of incident light that will transmit directly through the solvent film to the other side, from one side to another side. This is the incident light and this is transmitted light. See, for lyophilic particle, the transmitted light is more. See, for this only one, for this four, one, two, three, four, four. See, transmitted light is more for the lyophilic particle due to the presence of solvent film around the particle. But scattered light, see scattered light, just three, here four. So scattered light, one, two, three. So scattered light is less compared to transmitted light in case of lyophilic particle. But in case of lyophobic particle, scattered light is more. And the transmitted light is less. Why the transmitted light more in case of lyophilic particle means due to the presence of solvent film around the particle. So this is a this is about the scattering of light. <coughs> now what is the application? What is the application of turbidimeter? Means used to measure the number of particles, nothing but the concentration of particles in the collateral dispersion at the same time molecular weight. Molecular weight. Molecular weight of a particle. Molecular weight of a particle. Molecular weight of a particle we can measure by using this. And the number of particles we can also measure by using the turbidimetry. So what is the principle involved in turbidimetry means I divided by I naught is equal to e to the power of tau into n. See what it indicates. I means the incident light. See sorry. I means the transmitted light. How much the transmitted light is there? How much transmitted light is there? Next, I not mean initial. I zero means initial. The incident light. How, how much the intensity? I means intensity of 
initial light not which initial light the intensity of initial light means incident light intensity next one is option is i means the intensity of transmitted light divided by intensity of incident light is equals to e to the power of tau tau means concentration turbidity of this colloidal solution turbidity of this colloidal colloidal solution l means path length this is a sample cell this is a sample cell the length of the sample cell should be L. You can represent that in the form uh, in, with the letter L. This is the L means the length of the sample cell. L means length of the sample cell. T is the turbidity. Turbidity means the concentration of the colloidal dispersion. Next, I. Intensity of transmitted light. I naught. Intensity of incident light. This is a formula applicable to calculate the turbidity by using turbidometer. In case of turbidometer, this is a formula. This is application. This is the principle of turbidity.